welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing kind of a crazy project on my Dollar Tree crochet hook. I posted a review video about this recently and at the end of it I mentioned I'm going to try dipping it in this plastic rubbery coating here. This container here is Plasti Dip. I have not used this before but my thinking with dipping the handle of the hook in there is that it's going to create a little bit more thickness, a little bit more cushion, and most importantly it's going to cover up those rough edges where I was snagging my yarn. So we just need three things for this project. We need the hook, we need a little bit of string, and we need the plastic dip. Here's a closer look at this product along with the instructions, warning information, etc. Now I thoroughly read the instructions like five times, but somehow every time I missed a very important detail. Stir gently and thoroughly before each use. As I discover in a moment, you do not want to skip this step. Also be sure to work in a well-ventilated area because the fumes are a bit strong. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this string to my hook so that way once I dip it, I can hang it up. Then I'm gonna do it. So now we're going to dip in the plastic dip. So we are going to dip this slowly. It says dip one inch every five seconds. Did you have to shake your stir or anything? Oh, it's never been opened before. Nope. This is a brand new can of plastic dip. Doesn't say anything about- You're, you're buying this from me then. Oh, I can, I can, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got to dip very slowly, basically on the way in and on the way out. And I really don't know if I'm dipping at the right speed. They say to dip one inch every five seconds, but that's really hard to gauge. But we'll just take our time and go slow. And hopefully this will work. Now slowly back up. It doesn't stick to plastic. Well, I still have it on there. I just don't know how thick this goes on. Uh, when I did it before, it went on thick. You better drop it down in there. See, it's sticking to this stuff. This stuff. Okay, so I went in, to, came up too fast up here, I guess. Yeah, you let it sit for a little bit there. You sure you didn't have to shake it up or anything? Didn't say anything about it. This is it's a fail. It's so weird it's sticking to part of it, but not like all of it. This is a fail. You sure you didn't have to shake it up? Yeah, it didn't say anything about shaking it. I'm betting you had to shake it up. I think you just ruined your crochet. It was a dollar. <laughs> it's so weird. It's stuck to the bottom but nowhere else. So all it's I because it wasn't me... shaking up. That's why all the, it all the thick say stuff's to on the shake bottom. It up, though. That's why. All the thick stuff's on the bottom. Okay, well, we're just going to swirl this around for a second. I mean, it's not. Can you feel anything down the bottom down there? Like a sticker? It feels a little thicker. What yeah, because it's got to be shaking what up. If you, what if your stuff is. It's got to be shaking up, I'm telling you. Too... Oh, look, hang on. Let me just stir this around here. Uh huh. But see, it doesn't say anything about stirring it, so I was like, I'm not gonna stir it. I bet it says shake it up in big letters that you missed. I've read like the entire can. You gotta get that blue in there, man. Well, I don't wanna go shake all it more the vigorously. way up. Shake We can put the lid on it. It's gonna shake. be so thick at the bottom of the hook. Okay, now get that blue in there. Hey, there we go. See? Now that you're shaking it up a little more, stir it up more, stir it up more. Get the blue in there. Get the blue in there. Get the blue in well, there. Well, I can't while I'm stirring it. I don't want it to come all the way up the metal part. Get the blue in there. Okay, we're going to let this be coat one, and we'll let this sit for 30 minutes, and then we'll shake it before we dip any more. Okay, Miss uh, Grammar English Expert, right here. Stir gently and thoroughly before each use. I mean, that makes sense, but I missed that. Yeah, that's kind of a big one right there, right at the top. Gosh. This time, we are stirring gently and thoroughly before dipping. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. And wait for it. Still trying to blue. It's going back in again. I think if you can push it down further and then just wipe it off the metal piece when it comes out after you hang yeah. it. Imagine, you know what else it might be? I didn't really clean this off, so that could be like oily for making. Oh, yeah, you definitely gotta clean that off. She should use some acetone. Well, I like kind of wiped it down. Well, do I dip it again while it's already in here? Do we let it dry another 30 minutes and do one more dip, or what do we? Oh, it actually did cover the top part of the blue. I mean, it's getting there. It there. Yeah. No, I think I'd go ahead and hang it. Once right, you get finished me... with the last little drip, sir. All right, so this is after two coats. The bottom's nice and rubbery, the top a little rubbery, but it's not covered all the way. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, simply because the rubber feels kind of like sticky, you know how rubber sometimes does, but that might go away with time. Coat three. 
And we're gonna stir before we use it. Look at that. And now we hang it up a dragon. Despite the initial troubles, dipping my first hook went very well, so I'm going to try dipping another hook. This time I wiped it down so that way I don't have any finger oil or grease on there. So hopefully the plastic will adhere better. And I'm also making sure to thoroughly stir this time before I dip. All right, let's dip this crochet hook. A little hard to see, but I'm going just above the thumb grip. Look at how nice that dip was. Now I'm gonna hang it to let this coat dry and then we'll do another layer. All right, I'm about to dip it for the second time, but I just wanna show that these layers really don't go on very thick because you can still see the name and sides on the hook. But we're gonna do a bunch of layers and see if it makes it thicker or if it takes too long to make it worth it. I dipped this hook two more times for a total of three coats. For the first two layers, after dipping, it looked really globby and I couldn't read the writing on the hook, but once those layers dried, the details and writing were still visible. However, coat three made it thick enough that the text wasn't visible when it dried. I also had to tilt the can of Plasti Dip for the second and third coats because as I used the product, the depth of it in the can got shallower. My hook was sitting on the bottom by the third coat, but even so, the Plasti Dip wasn't deep enough to reach the height I wanted on my hook. I stopped after three layers because it was barely getting any thicker with each coat and I didn't want to waste the product, but now it's time to check out how the hooks turned out. All right, so I am working on my tutorial Tuesday for Tuesday, and I am using the crochet hook that I dipped. And so far for this project, it's been going pretty great. The only thing that I'm going to make a little change here with this hook is this spot right here where it is around the neck of the hook. What I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna get a scissors or a knife and just slice it down a little shorter because this stuff is a bit rubbery and so the rubber kind of has like a grip to it so like if I were to slide it along the table it's kind of gripping on the table and so it's not sticky but it's sticky in the sense of the way rubber kinds of grabs on things so sometimes it grabs on the yarn a little bit but it doesn't snag it so you could either try to just roll this edge down or use a knife or scissors to kind of slice it off now I don't know if these are sharp enough but we're gonna try this I'm just gonna go around and kind of cut through the rubber coating. Now, as you can see, this stuff will come off really easily. So if you decide that you absolutely hate it, you can always remove it pretty easily, it seems. Because again, it comes off really easily if need be. Like it stays on really securely. I'm not having any concerns that it's going to come off while I'm working with it. But if I need to get it off, you can just cut it off easily. And we'll see if kneading that edge up makes it better. I'm pretty sure it's going to not grab as much because I think it was just that edge where it was a little rougher just from being the top of the dip. But I think now that I've got a clean edge, I think it's gonna work really well. So I'm going back to working on this project, which is a bag, by the way, in case you're wondering. And we'll see if cutting that little bit off makes a difference. So here I'm letting my stitches slide all the way up against this part of the handle. And now that I've trimmed up the edge, it seems to be working really great. Not catching anymore, which is awesome. And I think at this point, I'm going to leave this hook dipped. I was kind of toying with the idea of, well, maybe I'll pull it off just so I can go back to where the hook was. But honestly, the rubber feels really nice in my hand. It covered up all those plastic pieces that were snagging. So overall, I'm really happy with dipping this hook. The one downside is it's hard to tell what size this hook is. Like I, you can sort of see the indentation that it's a five millimeter hook. And I know that this hook is a five millimeter hook, but I could easily see if you dip all your crochet hooks, it'd be very difficult to figure out what size they were. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe you could paint it on here or just scratch that little bit out with a knife or something. Now, as far as comfort goes, it's obviously not uncomfortable, but I don't think it really did much as far as making it more comfortable. And the coating is very thin. It had barely any thickness to the hook. So I wouldn't necessarily dip the hook to make the handle thicker. It would take a lot of coats, a lot of dipping and a lot of dry time. So I don't know that it would be a good solution for that, but as a solution for having some snags on this hook, this works phenomenally. So now let's look at the aluminum hook that I dipped in the Plasti Dip. So again, we can't see the size and the brand on this hook. You can just barely see the J there, but by layer three, it was really hard to tell. Secondly, it's not much thicker than the hook originally started. If we look at the top, you can kind of see the three different layers right there, because I had to do them at different angles because of the can getting too empty and too shallow. But if we look right there, we can see there's a little bit of difference in the thickness between the layers, but it's not that much thicker than the hook originally was. 
So let's try crocheting with this and see how it goes. I'm going to test on some Hobby Lobbies. I love this yarn. And what I think might bother me is I think it might hit here and kind of stop. Or it might not be an issue at all. Actually, now that I'm starting to crochet, it doesn't seem to be that big of an issue. Again, the hook feels comfortable in my hand. But for this hook, honestly, it's not really any different other than I don't have the hard of the metal hook. I just instead feel the rubber of the Plasti Dip. Quite honestly, to work with it, it doesn't feel any different before or after the Plasti Dip, so that is really nice. But do I necessarily think that it's an improvement on this hook? I mean, not really. So it's not really making a difference, good or bad, like it's totally fine. But since it's not really improving it, I think I'm going to remove the Plasti Dip off of this hook. Also because I have this little pouch here and I'm thinking it's probably not going to slide through very well. So, you know, other metal hooks slide right in and out. I'm guessing this is probably going to snag when I try to put it in here. Yeah, it's sticking kind of against the fabric. Let me go to a bigger slot. In the bigger slot, it slides through well enough, but it's picking up a bunch of the fuzz from in here. And I have to put it in the biggest slot because it did make it thicker. So I am going to remove the Plasti Dip off this hook. Let me see if I can just kind of peel back from the top here at all. Yeah, it'll kind of come right down. So basically I'm just gonna use some scissors or a little knife blade to cut a slice in it and then just peel it off. But it takes a little bit of effort to get it to come off. It's not like this is gonna come off while you're working on it. But when I am actually putting an effort to remove it, it seems like it's gonna come off just fine and not damage the hook or cause any issues. And there we go. The crochet hook has hatched out of its Plasti Dip cocoon here. Something I will show you for reference is how thick those three layers of Plasti Dip are. I mean, it's probably literally only a millimeter wide after three layers. So I think the Plasti Dip is a great option for a scenario like my Dollar Tree hook, where it had some snagging spots on it as a way to cover it up with something that won't snag on fabric and won't really change the function of the hook. And of course, you could get the Plasti Dip in a different color versus making the handle be black. And you can even find something really bright like a neon green or neon orange so that way it's harder to lose your hooks and you can find them more easily. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend coating all your crochet hooks or like a normal hook in the Plasti Dip, mostly because I don't really see a purpose. I guess the purpose would be it might be a little bit more comfortable, but it didn't make a huge difference. And if your goal was to bulk up the width of the hook to make it more comfortable to sit in your hand so it wasn't so delicate and small, it would take a lot of Plasti Dip to build it up to actually make a difference in that way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really appreciate you watching. And of course, if you enjoyed it, as always, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the like button down below. It just helps support me and I really do appreciate it. And of course, drop a comment down below if you've ever tried coating your crochet hooks in something. Let me know how it went. Maybe you painted them, maybe you covered them in clay, maybe you tried a product similar to Plasti Dip. Let me know in the comments how it went for you. And of course, let me know if you're going to dip any of your hooks in the Plasti Dip. But I'll catch you in my next video and until then, happy crafting!